Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be touring the Dave McLean Studios in my world. This is a building that I built back in 2016, a few months after I created this channel, and I think it is an amazing building. Now, do I use all the resources that this building offers to make my videos? No, 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 no. It's not that impressive in real life, unfortunately. Then that's true for pretty much every other streamer and content creator. But it, you can think theoretically. We have Minecraft to do that, so I want to think, th think, think theoretically. I can't say that word anymore, and see what would have happened if I, my imagination came true, and we have all these resources, and this is what it would be. I tried to renovate this building a few times, as it goes showcase at the end of this video, and how it first looked like, and how it looks like today. You can see the evil dolphin, dolphin smuts, evil right behind it, unfortunately. So that's not good. My student in danger. So if you don't remember this area, this is where I actually did my 50 subscriber special right there. So that's amazing that that's still there. You can see the, um, oh, that's gone. The 100 subscriber special where we're in the explosions right on the left side. So let's get started. So of course, the first thing we have in the front is hidden parking. I didn't want this to become a parking lot to the eye at least. So what I did was I created hidden parking. And I did this by like kind of surrounding these parking lots by trees. So your so your eye will go towards the entranceway, kinda of like this. And still the uh, and kinda of like reject the view of the parking lot. This is a good strategy in building and how you um avoid making your um site look more like a parking lot in the actual building. Of course I want my site to be I imagine my site in a more rural area with no houses and stuff like that. So that's why it has a gable roof barn like um Rooftop and with some um, gables on the sides and a flat in the back, which doesn't relate to the building at all, but it's still, anyways. So, of course, if you're entering from the streets, you can enter from there and go right inside to the main entrance. And this is where people would go if they were visiting. This is where people would first go before entering the studios. We have two elevators and two staircases. Oh no, it's a two or one. Two staircases going to the um, second floor, and this is the more behind the scenes area, which I will um, showcase later or look at later. So let's go upstairs first. But I won't be toward the entire studio just because it's a little bit too big, but I might revisit the again. Let's turn on the lights here. So um, these are the gates. This is how you actually enter the studio itself, the main studio. Gate 1, gate 2, gate 3. So you line up, and then once the door is open, you go inside. The Dave McLean Studios. Does this place look amazing? I imagine this more like a game show type feel, so the audience can interact, so the host can like, like walk up and interact with each guest, say, "Hey, what you want? You want this? Want this? Want this? Whatever." And of course, props. You can put uh, any type of props in this whole open space. The background is just a raw background, but you can pretty much do anything you want. It's like open space for the um, host or the show to whatever they want. In this case, me making Minecraft videos. By the way, I don't make my videos in here. I make it in my room. But this is a um, place where you want some other entertainment. You can go down here and showcase and all that good stuff. At least in theory, of course. <laughs> and of course, this is how far the um, audience should get to go. Let's go into the guest area, which is right here. If you were a guest coming to the Deep Clean Studios, you park somewhere here. These are my RV parkings right there. But the guests would park somewhere here or here. Many employee parking lot, the RV parking lot. But somewhere here, the guests would park because you had to treat your guests very nicely. They will park like here by the loading dock. And then they will walk right inside. And this is where we can get their makeup done, get ready, and do all the good stuff. We have two monitors so we can watch. Keep in mind, it was built back in Minecraft 1. Point, I think 8 or 9 or something like that. So that's why the monitor looks like crap. And about that back here would be all the storage for the um, guests and all that. And in here is the control room. This is where we make all the magic happen. All the lightning effects, sound effects, all the live stuff. There should be item frames here. So when I guess I copied all this world or whatever, it removed my item frame. So let's put those back. But yeah, these are supposed to be computers. I imagine there'd be dual monitors, single monitors, all that good fancy stuff here. Which is not here, so that's okay. We just put in the monitors again. In this case, the item frames. Uh, where all the um, controls can happen. Some of these might have buttons next to them. Some of these might have the um, flip for switch. And some of them might have the um, gears shift. So, all that good stuff happens here. 
of course we have this unused attic space unfortunately so um yeah that's there not a good bomb going up there just nothing it's just you not know, the rooftop and this is the um lighting area because i couldn't fit this anywhere with all the redstone um all the lighting is shown here so we're gonna control the audience lighting which turns off turns off the lights to the audience uh, we have um, stage lighting, so we can turn that off and control the stage lighting. And of course, we turn off everything, and everything will be um, very, very dark. Except for the guest room. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a way to... Like, you could turn off the lights in the guest room, too. And that's kind of how you fa how to fix it. But I know there's a better solution than that. To turn off the lights. And if you have a guest room already, these lights can turn off as well. Just to make the just to make sure the um, light don't do moving through any magic. And you saw earlier, those lights in the back can turn off. So we turn those off after every show. So very cool, right? <laughs> I kinda made I did some redstone stuff which failed <laughs> pretty much. This is the old checkout room. This is the original building that I built to actually check in. Back then there was no guest room or anything like that, so it was kind of cramp as you can see. This is how you should enter, and you should go inside this building, like none of this was here, and you should go inside there, and then, and, and that's how you got in. Guests, audience, everyone. So this was pretty bad, as you can see. I don't know why this is still here, but it's still here for a reason. <laughs> if you go upstairs, there's some um, office space. So today, I use this more as a um, employee area, hangout area, although we already have a newer version of this, but this is more like the employee hangout area. Just after a show, something like that, you can hang out there, do anything you want. Downstairs, I imagine that being more of a, a just a um like a um storage area kind of slash a greeting area. So if there's like a special event or something like that, the guests can go through um the, these doors instead of the um guests for the studios. Just go here, and so this is kind of like a welcome center for the um, second door without using the um, main lobby, the main entrance, and the actual studio itself. And they can go out here and do whatever we have special for them, which could be anywhere in the studios. This is still the control room. So this is the um, kitchen. So this is after um, guests, whatever. Um, they do their stuff, whatever. We can go here, get something to eat, a nice spite. So this is where we do all the kitchen stuff, cooking, stoves, freezer, fridges, all the good things. All my item things disappear, but these will all be counters. The sinks are down there. And this is, I guess, where all the um, raw food goes. Or something, I don't know. My building skills were terrible back then, so I don't know. Uh, let's, that, that's the employee um, lounge, the new one. Let's go um, actually over there. So we have kind of two employee lounges in a way, which is not good, but this is the employee lounge. Nice with fridge, freezers, kitchen, little kitchen, books, place to put your stuff, your goods, and seating area. So all the good stuff. And TV, one big monitor. So that's all good for the employees to do on the off time or break times. Um, and here is... Actually, no, let's go upstairs first. Upstairs is more my personal quarters. So this is the calling center. This is where you make calls and all the good stuff. Or if I show idea or something like that, you should go up here. Uh, this could be used for a lot of things, though. It also could be office space. Like one person do marketing, finance. Another person does um, retail. And one that might do, um, five, do um, something else or organization or something like that. It's like it's all dual purpose. So I have a very specific function of them some storage back there some place to put your personal stuff and then here is more storage very simple office i know and of course oh yeah also the vice president will be down here and when you go upstairs oh this go takes you up to the roof you can actually go to the roof of the dave mclean studios you can access everywhere except for the roof of the um, control center downstairs lower down which would take which would of course be access to the other trap door which i did go up and by the way, speaking of control room, I didn't take you to the mechanical room down there. We're not going, like I said, I'm not going to show you every single room in here just because there's so many rooms. Okay, this is the assistant manager of the um, Steve McLean studio. So I work closely with them. TV, content, all that good stuff. But of course, next door is the Dave McLean's office. <laughs> Uh, for some reason, I have a, a man trap here. 
for a reason. But this is it. This is my office. This is where I do all our stuff. And this is where I imagine me sitting down right now making um, videos for Minecraft. So, I don't know what to say. This is kind of how I look like making videos. I imagine I have more monitors though today since there's just one. But yeah, keep in mind, when I first... I only built the um, rest of the studio like the same year when I started. Sorry, the, yeah, the same year. So like three months after I started, I built the rest of there. So not too much stuff. I think this room was in my um, 100 scrub special. So you can actually check that out and recognize it. Of course, we had a little bedroom because why not? I need to rest, people. And of course, this takes you to the vice president's um, office, which is also downstairs as well. But there's two vice presidents. No, it's not. There's only one, but he has an office downstairs just because he does all the other manager stuff which I can't do or that I don't want to do. Very nice, I know. <laughs> so that's a very important um, wing right there. So this is a storage room for the whole facilities. And this is the office for something else. For what? I have no idea. I don't remember. This is the bathroom. I'm not gonna do it because it's not become be I'm not this is not bikini bomb tour, so I don't have to do that. So thank god. This is the office, more offices to handle other things relating to David Clean Studios or meeting room or whatever. Might be dual purpose as well. Uh let's go where's the stairs now? There he is. It has been quite a while since I've been here as you can tell. This is the drafting room. This is where you draft all the plans and all the ideas and scripts that will be on broadcast on the show. So yeah. This is not for live events at all. This is just say um the ideas room. This is how you generate ideas for a show and what goes on and all that good stuff. And of course, there's a lot of drawings involved in all that. This is just the utility room. This is the um, HVAC meter, which is normally in the basement, but in this building, it's actually on this floor, so it's kind of loud. And you got all that stuff surrounding it, some mechanical stuff, water tanks, all that good stuff. Water heaters. And this is the um, third floor of this wing. This is the IT department. And they pretty much handle all the um, functionalities relating to computers. So that would be them right there. Sitting down, doing all the networking stuff. Make sure hey, we're online, we're broadcasting properly, and we can upload properly. <laughs> um, let's go back downstairs. Of course, he fixed, com they fixed computers as well. In case you don't have a problem with the computers. And we are back in the lobby. This is the lobby area again. So, um, we have to explore the other side now. So, this is the computer room. This is where you can just hang out and just use your computers for whatever reason. Of course, my all my iron frames disappeared, so I guess I had to fix that, unfortunately. I'm not going to fix it now, but in the future. What's in here? Oh, yeah, this is storage. This is actually my old archives. But I'm going to build a vault. I need to kind of renovate a part of it and actually build my vault there. Because I have a lot of um, things I need to keep. My archive vault. Sorry, quick edit there. This is the more um, computer space and whatnot. Um, open space, so I don't know what to do with, unfortunately. But it's there. That, I, I think I could probably expand my vault into this room, actually. But I kind of want to lower it to the ground just in case something happens. So it's more inside the building, more protected, all that good stuff. But I definitely make this a different room. I don't know what yet. Oh, special development room, okay. And this is the exit, we have a lot of exits here. These are bays that can open up for the um, trucks and all that good stuff, to load in goods and props. Up here, I believe, is the bathrooms. <laughs> but over here is the audio wing. This is where we do all the um, audio stuff for the um, Oh, this is the meeting room. This is one of the meeting rooms that people can use. And this is the um, sound room. Deal with all the sound stuff and live recordings audio recordings and this is the training room this is where you get your training to um, know how to use the equipment and all the good stuff of course we can also spread into the meeting room as well just in case they um, need some extra space for the trainings um, over here in here is the which room is this this is another computer lab I think but this is yeah this is another um, computer lab where you can do all your computer stuff. So I have three computer labs in here. Or two. Sorry, two computer labs, one special development room. Um, let's go further down the hall. And this is pretty much the um, base, the loading docks. Where you can load up all your trucks to go inside the studio itself. 
and I th believe that is everything. After this, you have in the guest room again. So, um, and that's pretty much most of the studios. And this is the actual dock itself. You can load on all the props. This, that's the back of it. And you see the front right there. Of course, we have our back area surrounded by gate, just so we don't have any um, issues uh, with trespasses, stuff like that. Um, down here, we have the old, um, the old um, guest area, guest room. Sorry, the old entrance. It's called the old entrance because that's where everyone used to enter before I uh, maybe built the other stuff. And this is the um, guard shack. There's one on the other side as well, I believe. Lots of parking. This is the employee parking slash guest parking. And this is just a warehouse where you, you, one can store all the um, stuff they need for the, for the studio. So just an open space pretty much. Of course we have the RV parking. Semi truck parking as well is there. We need a lot of space to navigate which is why the roads are so big. Probably even bigger than this honestly. There's the other um, guard gate right there. Nothing much inside, or well, nothing at all in that case. And the little park at the front. I thought this looked amazing. So it kind of blends into my, um, to the um, landscape, to the rural residential landscape, which I think this does successfully. Of course, today it'll be a lot of changes that I make, but this is a great classical building, I think, for its time, even with my skill level. Now, um, let's take a look, at, let's take a look and how this building actually used to look like before I um, built all these um, wings, this extra stuff, the parking lot. And let's just take a look at that and see how it used to look like. Welcome to the old Dave McLean Studios in my world. This is what I first built when I first started this channel. Like, even before the Bikini Bond, I could see the church I did a long time ago. But this is um, the um, studio I decided to make right next to the church, near the church, because I wanted to just sh be show a place that we are broadcast from, because why not? And this is how OJ used to look like, so, um, yeah, very different, let's put it that way, and very skeleton. Hey, let's go through the, through the front door, which is here, you might remember this. You can see the lighting panels, and you can see inside the studio itself, looks pretty amazing, right? Very dark because, of course, the lighting is kind of off. So let's um, put that on. No, that's off. So turn these off then, I guess. You see how it looks like when it's off. And, of course, when it's on, um, this stage and um, stage life roof. And then audience. As you can see, it should light up. Or not. This is a failure. Yeah, you can see we really can't come a long way since <laughs> since back then. Should probably put on and off for each of these lights. There we go. The audience, the audience lights. Oh, I don't have any audience lights. I forgot. That's why I didn't light up. But yeah, that used to be the um, Dave McLean Studios back then, and that's pretty much it. So all my sound, lighting, and audio, all the people would have to work in this one, this one little space. And of course, there's a there's a um, structure block in my um, hot bar, so that's funny. All right, we are back. You can actually see the um, Dave McLean um, office right there on the top floor of this wing. That's the IT department. Office is down there. The employee lounge takes up most of that bay. And of course, um, the first thing I built out of, which is the um, lighting control room, was this building. Just outside the lighting control um, room, which lights up the studio and the other places as well. And that's down there is the control room, which was built actually after I built the um, old welcoming center or welcoming entrance, whatever it's called. So, um, yeah, I think that really does it. So, um, yeah, that is the Dave McLean Studios in my world. So, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like this, you know what to do. If you dislike it, you also know what to do. But if you really like it, you also know what to do. <laughs> what a W way to end this video off. Alright folks, thanks for watching and catch you on the next one. Bye bye!